what about, you know, we saw like this was, there's no love loss again this season between Polly and Hall, between Polly and Hall and on one side and Jarvis on the other. Like, what is it about like Polly and Hall and Jarvis? Like, will they ever be able to get along? <laughs> um, miracles do happen, David, once in a, once in a lifetime. And I don't know if that's going to be one of them though. I, I don't want to speak for any of them, but there is just so much personality conflict with let's say Paulie and Jarvis for example that I don't think those two will ever see anything the same way I think they can both see um a blue sky and call it different colors and will go to their graves you know with that conviction so they're just two different personalities and and vibes and I I respect them both but uh no I don't think I think there are some relationships that uh, are just too far gone. And I don't think they really want there to be any sort of reconciliation either. Again, my opinion only. I will not be holding out hope for that. <laughs> well, what about, you know, Jarvis and Rose? I mean, you know, my favorite door knocking pair. I mean, this was not expected this season. They seem to have hit a bumpy road. Yeah, that was a curveball. I, I think we were all sort of surprised by how that relationship dissolved. And I, for one, am saddened to see that because I thought they were a great duo. And yes, they were so polar opposites in a lot of ways, but they they played well off of each other. And I think um, opposites attract when it comes to partnerships and, and work and real estate. And, you know, Jarvis is an uber professional and very... Um, Heidi and well-spoken and Rose bless her heart is different. And I, I respect Rose's style very much. It's uh, it's just a little bit more casual. And I think, you know, oftentimes partnerships do come to a natural expiration date and that's what happened there. I think they both just really wanted to move in professional directions that are opposite and, uh, it, it's a bummer. I'm really bummed to see that. I I don't think any of us were expecting it. So they're really not. I mean, they're still there, but they're really not doing joint listings anymore. No, no, that is all ancient history. Wow. Well, we have a new member. You know, we saw Allie. We saw Jarvis. She has a new friend, Allie. You know, she's from Tennessee. We saw everyone welcome her. You seem to have some issues with her joining the O group. Where is that? You guys made this bet. You were going to wear a bikini. Has that happened? Well, the jury is still out on that. Uh, I will say I I keep it real when it comes to work. And I think that I, I'd i rather err on the side of being a little bit overly critical when it comes to um, whether I think someone really has what it takes to make it in this very competitive and cutthroat business. I have nothing against her personally. You know, we've actually hung out off camera after all that and we're friends. And I think she'll say the same thing about me. She respects my op opinion. And I told her, Ali, I want you to prove me wrong, please. It'll do not only you good, it'll do the office good, therefore me good. So please prove me wrong. But, you know, I'm a businessman. And if, if I were, you know, going to gamble on someone, I wouldn't necessarily, you know, put my chips on your, in your corner just because there's, there's still so much for you to learn. And I think you're, you're a sweetheart and you're, you're a gem, but that's not really what it takes to make it here. You need to be a little tougher than that. The tough business, right? Indeed. What about, well, we saw you, you know, you hit the hundred million mark. You had this like ice sculpture luge of yourself. <laughs> well, we all know you're the number one agent, as you say, in the office. But, you know, if you needed to hand your, you know, childhood home, the sale of it, which we saw this season to someone else in the office, who else would you give this? Like, if you had to pick <laughs> one agent, it can't be you. You have to hand it off and walk away. Who would you choose to sell this home? That is a good question. Wow. I never... I never thought about that. Um, I don't. I don't know. I, I. It's not that I don't trust anyone else in the office, but if I had to absolutely pick, 
you know, it's going to seem odd, but I'm going to go with Polly. I think that her and I have, we've worked together well in the past. We've closed deals before. And yes, she's quirky and different and, and uh, the polar opposite of me. But at the same time, I do trust her professionalism, uh, despite uh, some maybe inappropriate uh, off, uh, behavior in the office. But I think when it comes to listings, that's who I would oddly enough pick. Interesting. Mm -hmm. She just can't have an open house and have Tyler in the house alone, huh? <laughs> That's true. I'll write that in the uh, in the agreement. That's right. Who would you say then? Is it Polly? Like, who would you say, since you are the number one agent at the O Group in the OC, who would you say is second out of the people we know on this show? Um, you know, we all have our strengths and weaknesses as as agents and very particular styles. So... As far as number two, I think just looking at numbers isn't really a fair way to look at it. So I think, you know, when, when I take a step back and think, okay, who would sell this the best? Like who would really lean into, you know, uh, uh, sort of my style? I think if I didn't pick Polly, let's just have some fun for a sec. If I didn't pick Polly, then... Again, it's going to seem odd, but I would, I would go with, with Hall. There's, there's a mutual respect there. And I think despite our differences, we have a very like frenemy relationship and she knows how to sell. That's a fair answer. What, what is up with the sale of this house? I mean, how's it going? It's, um, you know, the market right now is really iffy. And it's a price point that just in general takes longer to move. So there's also emotions involved, which I'll be honest, have clouded some judgment calls as far as price and, and things of that nature. So it's, it's still available. It's um, like a lot of things in that price point over 10 mil is, is kind of just um holding out for things to improve a little bit now that the summer's over, over, hopefully it does, but it's so tough. And it's like, it's so funny. Realtors make that we're our own worst enemy when it comes to our own, our own property. So everything that we try to guide our clients on, we don't listen to ourselves. And so um, it's a beautiful, beautiful house. Uh, I think it really just, embodies everything that Newport Beach and OC has to offer as far as lifestyle being on the water. So it's a matter of time, but uh, it, it'll, it'll sell to it. I wanted to sell it to the right person to 